Hello everyone today we will be studying about casting Casting is a manufacturing process in which a liquid material is usually poured into a mold which contains a hollow cavity of the desired shape and then it is allowed to solidify The solidified part is also known as a casting which is ejected or broken out of the mold to complete the process We will study about various forms of casting which are permanent mold casting die casting centrifugal casting and investment casting Let's start with the die casting Die casting is a molding process in which the molten metal is injected under high pressure and velocity into a split mold die Die casting is categorized into two types namely hot chamber and cold chamber Hot chamber die casting is a type of die casting that uses allows with low melting temperatures and cold chamber die casting is preferred manufacturing processes for metals that have high melting points let us now move forward to the advantages of die casting first advantage is high production weight second advantage is high accuracy in part dimensions third one is smooth surface finish for minimum mechanical finishing fourth is the ability to make many intricate parts such as hole opening slot trademark number etc next one is much thinner wall sections can be provided which can't be produced by other casting methods varieties of alloys can be used as per design requirements and it provides ability to cast inserts such as pin studs fasteners etc now the disadvantages are undercuts cannot be found easily hollow cuts cannot be made high melting temperature alloys cannot be die casted Our next topic is centrifugal casting. Centrifugal casting is a method of producing castings where molten metal is poured into a mold rapidly moving around a fixed axis. The molten metal comes in contact with this rotating mold under a good amount of pressure because of the centrifugal force. This gives a better filling of the mold. The casting grain density is also high as a result the porosity is almost zero it is mainly used for making parts having shapes of bodies of revolution let us now study the advantages of centrifugal casting the casting acquire high density high mechanical strength and fine grain structure inclusions and impurities are lighter gates and risers are not needed we do not need to gates and risers we get high output and we can form hollow interiors using centrifugal casting the final product has high mechanical strength and high density the disadvantages of centrifugal casting are skill laborers are employed to be uh, for this process Only some shapes can be generated by this casting process and not all alloys can be cast in this way. Centrifugal castings require very high investments. Also many times we get an inaccurate diameter of the inner surface of the casting. So these were the disadvantages of centrifugal casting. Moving on to the next topic, permanent mold casting. Permanent mold refers to the tooling used to produce the castings. The molds or dies are usually made of high alloy iron or steel and have a product production life of hundred thousand plus castings. The cavity surfaces of the mold are coated with a thin layer of heat resistant material such as clay or sodium sulfate. The metal molds that consist of two or more parts. are then assembled the molds are preheated to a set temperature and through the use of water cooling and other radiation techniques a very close thermal balance is maintained once to temperature the molten metal is poured into a sprue at the top of the mold the metal floats into the mold cavity to the runner system by the pressure and velocity induced by gravity
when the metal has solidified the mold is opened and the casting is removed now the advantages of permanent mold casting are fine grain structure smoother surfaces closer dimensional tolerances lower floor space requirement economical production for large quantities high mechanical properties good surface finish reduced machining for a total lower cost a final product has good mechanical strength as compared to other casting metal uh, methods now moving on to the disadvantages of permanent mold casting which are limited to lower melting temperature alloys that means we can only cast alloys which have lower melting temperatures and we, we cannot cast alloys which have high melting temperatures high mold costs are not economical for small production which means that the initial cost is very high as compared to the other casting methods and it is also not economical for small productions our next topic is investment casting Sacrificial patterns are produced using a dye with materials such as wax, plastics, or other suitable materials. The pattern is a replica of the casting to be produced and induces allowances for the expansion and contraction which occur during the casting process. The patterns are then placed on a running system and passed through to the molding stage. The pattern assembly is coated with a suitable setting refractory mixture. Traditionally, slurry is used to produce a block or shell mold. When the mold sets, the pattern is removed either through melting or dissolution. Consequently, what remains is a cavity which replicates the shape of the final cast product required. The metal is cast into the mold and allowed to cool. Upon cooling, the mold is then broken and cast part is removed. Now the advantages of investment casting are many intricate forms with undercuts can be cast. A very smooth surface is obtained with no parting lines. Dimensional accuracy is good. Certain unmachinable parts can be cast with to pre-planned shape. It may be used to replace die casting where short runs are involved. The dimensional tolerance of investment casting is very high and excellent. So, this is all for casting. Thank you so much for watching.